All right, right now, instead of red roses for Valentine's Day, how about some apple ones? Registered dietitian and local blogger Lindsay Joe is here with a fun idea for a guilt-free Valentine's Day snack. Good to have you back with us today. Thank you. And Happy you Valentine's say guilt-free and low in fat and sugar? Absolutely. So Valentine's Day, like many holidays, a day of indulgence. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You can enjoy these apple roses without all the guilt. Okay. Um, what I have for you today is the apple roses are actually very simple to make. I'm using a variety of apple called pizzazz. I got them at Publix. Mm -hmm. It has a sweetness, a tartness to it. And what I did to prepare the apples, which are the petals for the roses, sliced them paper thin. Okay. We have them here in a bowl. I'm going to fill the bowl with water with a little bit of lemon and we're actually going to microwave it to make the uh, petals nice and soft so that we can fold them up. Okay, how long do you microwave that? Uh, I'd say about uh, three minutes. Okay. Yeah, three minutes for all your little petals here. Uh, once they're done, you will actually drain the petals. We'll add some cinnamon, add as much as you like. You could also use apple pie spice if you mm -hmm. like. Um, I'm actually using agave sweetener here. Okay. It will nicely cover all the apple slices, and agave is sweeter than sugar, so I can use a, le a little. I can use less of it, and it'll go a long way. Okay. So all of the apple slices are. are I already have uh, some prepared ones actually over here for you. This is what they look like when they're mixed and drained. Mm -hmm. And this is how we prepare the apple rose. These are my wonton strips. I used these because uh, they're lower in fat than pie crust and puff pastry. So what you do is you actually to work with wonton strips. It's really easy. You just add a little bit of water there so that they kind of stick together. Okay. And then the petals, you just want to overlap each other. Oh, okay, looks good there. Smells nice, it smells like apple pie in here. All right, so let's say you've got them all done. Go ahead and roll, show me how you roll that up. So you would fold it up and they would stick a little bit better. Uh-huh, okay. You just, yep, and you would just fold like so and place into a uh, a greased pan. Okay. So, hmm? Yeah, look at that. Just like so. All and right. those cook up really quick, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Yep. And then you've got this sitting in what, uh, you say Cool Whip? Yeah, so you can use a light version of that if you also want something else that's lower in fat. And it just gives it that uncreamy flavor. Yeah, how cool is that? Great, great, great. Thank you so much for being Thank with us you. today. You'll find the instructions on how to put together these apple roses on the website at newschannel5.com. And we'll link you to her website.